Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a hamburger menu using the responsive menu plugin. And our WordPress environment was set up using InstaWP. And this is a service that allows you to launch a WordPress installation in under one minute. It does everything for you, such as setting up SSL, it's instant and disposable. So check it out, instawp.io. And like I mentioned, we are going to be using the responsive menu plugin today. And this plugin allows you to create beautiful WordPress menus, responsive menus, without knowing how to code at all. So let's get into our tutorial. So the first thing we want to do is install our plugin. So go over to plugins, click add new and type responsive menu. This is it right here. So click install now. And once it's done, just click activate. All right, so we have installed our responsive menu plugin. So we just want to go over to the left hand side and click responsive menu and click create new menu. So this is our default theme, but we also have some paid themes, but we are going to move forward with our default theme. Click next. Let us name our menu. Let's call this sample menu. All right. And this part says link WordPress menu. So this is our main menu. This is our default menu in WordPress. So we are going to leave this as is. And this part says hide theme menu. So we are going to come back to this. We are going to configure this separately in the settings uh, section when we're done. And here we see we see device visibility. So this menu is being shown on mobile and tablet. It's not being shown on desktop and you cannot select it because this is a pro feature. We also have display condition, which is a semi pro feature. So we can show our menu on all pages or we could use it as a short code, but we just want to move forward. So click create menu. All right. So we have our, we have created our sample menu. If we, uh, click this hamburger right here, we see that we have our menu, but we also have our default menu in the back and we want to hide it. So I'm going to show you guys how to hide. This It's quite simple. We just want to right click on the default menu and click inspect. So once the inspect window opens up, we just want to find our CSS selector that will uh, enable us to hide this. So we just want to look for it. So it's right here. It says primary mobile menu. So we just want to copy this. Just click copy, copy element. And we want to go over to our settings, general settings. So at the bottom here, under hide theme menu, we want to paste this in this box. Just delete the arrows and delete everything before the hashtag. Click update. And we have hidden our menu. Now let us customize our menu. So we just want to uh, close this inspect window and go back. Let us click this mobile menu. So let's customize our container. Here we see we can customize our title text. So let's open our menu. This is our title text. So let's change this to sample menu. And you see that it changed right here. We can also customize our styles so we can add padding to the top. Let's make this 15. Um, well, this is linked. So when you change one setting for padding, it will apply to all. If you want to change it for one, we just need to unlink it. So if we make this, for example, 20, it only applies to the top. If we link it again and we change it, let's say, for example, 10, all of them become 10. We can also change our background. So if we click this, we can make this background red. Now this is only for our title. So if we increase our saturation, we see that it changes here and we can also configure our background hover. So if we make this um, purple, for example, increase the saturation. Once we hover, it turns purple. 
So we can also change our font size, our text alignment, our font weight, font family, text color, uh, image width, and a lot more. So let's move on to additional content. And this is this portion right here. So we see that we our content says add more content here. So we can also change this. So we can say get 50% off your first purchase. All right, so this is an example of what your uh, content could be within your menu. And we also have our style so we can customize this. We can make this text white as well or red or any other color that we like. Uh, we can change our text alignments. We can add padding. So right now there's 0% padding at the top. We can unlink this and make the padding, for example, 10%. Or uh, let's make all of the padding, for example, 15%. Let's make all of the padding 15%. If we move on to menu, we see that we can customize our menu. So this portion right here, we can add padding also. So this is linked. We can add some padding to our menu. And we can also customize our search box. We can turn it on or off, as well as select styles and change the height or border radius. So we can make it square. If we make this zero, it will be a square. So let's take it back to 45. We can also change our text color. Or background. So if we type in here, this is our text. We can change the background color of our search bar to yellow, for example, to make it extreme. Placeholder color. We can change our placeholder color. This is this color right here. We can make this green, for example. We can also customize the appearance and behavior of our, our menu. So um, we can configure these settings, but these are semi-pro options. All right, so let's go back and customize our toggle button. So it's this button right here. Okay, so we can customize our container width. We can change this to, let's say, let's change this to 100%. Sorry, 100 pixels. And we have our container height. We can make this 100 as well to make it a square. So if you want to make a square, both your container width and height must be the same value. So let's make this 60 again. 60 pixels. We can change our background color also. So let's make this purple. And on hover, let's make it pink. So if we hover, we see that it changes to pink. We can make this a lighter pink. All right. And um, our active color, we can change this also. So this is the color when you click it, the color that you see when you click it. So we can change this to red, for example, and we can change our shade of red. There's also an option to customize the border radius. So if we make this, for example, 50 pixels, it changes to a circle. We can also make the background transparent. Um, we have our button position as well. We can customize this. We can make the distance from the side, for example, 10 to push it more towards the left hand side. Uh, the distance from the top, we can make it 20, for example. So it pushes it down from the top. So let's just put this back to the default setting. Let's make this five again. We have our button type, which is also a semi pro option where we can configure our animation. If we had the pro version, we would be able to select from these animations. And we have our line spacing uh, at five pixels, line width and line height. So we can also we can always customize these, um, these options. So we can make our line thicker or thinner. This customizes our line width. So we can also change this according to our needs. We have line color that we can change as well, as well as line hover. So 
these are options that we can configure if we need to as well. Line active is also an option that we can configure. So if we make this red, let's make it white instead or yellow. So you see um, this is our active color. We can also add button text. So we can add one letter, for example, M. And if we go back, it's right there. We can change the text color if we'd like to orange, for example. And we can also customize our button behavior options. So let's update our menu. And let's go back. So we can also customize this setting, menu styling. And we see that this is a semi pro feature. So we can turn on item descriptions, you can turn it on or off. Um, we have our contents and styling. So let's open our menu. And let's change our menu background color. So there are some of the features that we can customize as well, such as item styling, as well as trigger icon. So we can change these settings as well. And once you're done, all you need to do is click update, just ensure that you click update to save your changes. So this is our menu. I really hope this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.